Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com and today I wanna to share with you the most favorite session I attended at the recent Public Library Association 2022 conference in Portland, Oregon. Had a great time and decided to share some tips with you that I learned at this conference. This particular episode is going to be part tip and part kudos. So I'm rolling them both into one. If you have, by the way, a suggestion for an upcoming episode of the Library Marketing Show, you can go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab to make a suggestion to nominate someone for kudos. So kudos and my tips today come from the East Hampton Public Library. They presented a session on how they increased circulation during COVID. They got a 79% total increase in their circulation between 2017 and 2021. And yes, a big part of that increase came when they were on lockdown. So how did they do it? It was fascinating to watch. As you know, most of the time I talk a lot about collection promotion. This focused a little more on other things that you can do. If you wanna hear about collection promotion, I'll put a link to one of my videos up here in the corner. But East Hampton Public Library did this thing where they created a great user experience and they used that to increase their circulation. So they did that by doing automatic renewals on books. I think they said two renewals per item. They went totally fine free, which as we know is a huge hurdle sometimes for people trying to check out items. So making things fine free helped to increase their circulation. Basically anything they could do to make use of the library easier, they did it. They took all the hurdles away to checkouts. And of course they saw that huge increase in circulation. So the big takeaway from this particular session was that you need to look for opportunities and be flexible in all things when you're trying to increase circulation at your library. One of the things they did was really pay attention to what was going on around them in their community and then take advantage of those opportunities. So um, one of the things that, that one of the examples that they shared was they decided to do um, early literacy kits because they were not able to visit daycare centers, obviously during the pandemic but those daycare providers really needed some extra activities. So they put together a monthly delivery of books in these early literacy kit kits for six local preschools. And then they promoted it to families with take home materials and that helped increase their circulation. Another thing that happened is their um, neighborhood trick or treat got canceled because of COVID and they picked that up. Basically they moved the trick or treat to the library parking lot. They renamed it and they were really quick about it. They did it in like, like five minutes after the town decided to cancel trick or treat. The library had an announcement that said, Hey, we're going to go ahead and do park or treat at our library. And they gave out books and they gave out library cards and they got a whole bunch of people into the library parking lot people who may not have used their library before so they were really flexible and they were always on the lookout for opportunities the other thing they said was to just put yourself out there in terms of the media we're always looking for coverage from the media and one of the presenters talked about getting over her fear of approaching the media and, and talking to them and creating relationships with them so that Every time they had one of these great things that they were doing, they approached the media and told them and the media, they got coverage out of it. And indeed, they were able to craft the narrative in such a way that they got great publicity and it turned out to be a really a big win for their library. So just get over your fear if you can and approach the media about all the great things that your library is doing because they got a lot of benefit out of this not only did they got increase in circulation their budget got increased they were able to hire more staff they actually got building improvements and they proved that the library is important so kudos to the east hampton public library and thank you for sharing all of those tips with us at pla and I wanna thank you guys for watching and thanks to everybody who came up to me at PLA. I had a great time. I hope to be at ALA as well. Are you gonna be going to ALA? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of today's episode. Have anything to add about increasing circulation? As always, you can get more information at superlibrarymarketing.com and connect with me there. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.